Hello Sprouts, welcome back to Infinite Tell. I'm Crimson Clover, and today I'm going to be talking about Zhao Shao Su a bit. Well, playing around in Blue Dream Song. Now, her passive ability gives you plus one synergy with Tian, as well as a 70% attack increase with every 50 levels. With a base attack of 10, she will then have 17 attack at level 50. If you have a maxed out damage talent, she should have 18 attack at level 50. And if you have what I want. Now, 17 attack, 18 attack at level 50 sounds impressive. But remember, the harder the realm you're running, the less spiritual energy drops, which will make leveling up and getting there harder to do. This is somewhat counterbalanced with the increased number of enemies you get in the harder stages, but you'll also be doing less initial damage than a character like Wang Daolu or Wujisu. Hello, Plink Scroll. If you want to level her up at a decent pace, you're going to need to focus on getting the Blink Scroll, which I've just done. A one star Blink Scroll will give you 10% spiritual energy. A two, a two star Blink Scroll should give you 20% spiritual energy. And a three star Blink Scroll, I think, gives you 40% energy. It's been a while since I've actually gotten it, so I'm not entirely certain of that. Now, while you're focusing on the Blink Scroll, you're also, in general, going to want to focus on the Tien Synergy, which is what she specializes around. Tier 3 of Tien will get you Spiritual Energy plus 30%, and Tier 6 will get you 50% Spiritual Energy Increase. If you're lucky, there's also a manual that can get you another 12% spiritual energy, but early on I think it's better to focus on a damage-oriented manual than the spiritual energy one, because 12%'s a bit low compared to everything else you can get. Now, there is also a manual that will decrease how much spiritual energy you gain in favor of, I think it's attack been a while since I've looked at that, but avoid it, <laughs> you know, if you want Wujisu to reach her highest level of base potential. Now, as for weapon synergies and things that you can pair her with, the Saber is a good option. Uh, the two set bonus grants 10% attack. Hello, Tian Synergy. I got to get less of you. The, uh, the attack 10% for the 2 set bonus, 20% for the 4 set bonus, and an additional 20% for the 4 set bonus. So pairing her with Saber is pretty good. You could also pair her with the Green Dragon Synergy, which will give you 0.1% attack for every 10 Spirit Stones. And then if you take that path, you'll probably also want the Spirit Stone Bag. On the plus side, the Spirit Stone Bag also comes with the TN Synergy. And I will hold on to the Saber for later. Should I have? Sell the Saber, do the breakthrough. And we got lucky! Taishuan Shenxing. That is just my base attempt at incre increasing that. Um, pronouncing that, sorry. Get spiritual energy plus 12%. And the one you need to be leery of. Uh, the Hun, Hun Yuan art, where you get base hit points, but you lose spiritual energy. Oh, and I totally forgot about the Heavenly Technique, where you get plus 25% spiritual energy, but your pickup range is dropped by 50%. And while I would like both of those, I'm rather fond of my pickup range, so I'm just going to stick with this. I didn't realize I was running into Elixir. And I'm going to ignore it for now. Um, if you're a little unlucky, right, because the monsters dropping stuff is still RNG. So while this gives more spiritual energy, you might get unlucky and not get enough. 
is a thing to be cautious of. And because if you don't hit level 50, then the only passive ability you're getting from her is the TN Synergy, right? And if you're not trying for um, getting orange treasure spawning from the magic treasure shops that drop on the ground, then, you know, you might not ever get the attack bonus. So while this is a character that therefore has no um, bad weapon synergies, she also doesn't have any great ones. It took a bit of rerolling before the game gave me a weapon. See, it's giving me the spiritual art thing again. And I would, I would ordinarily take the spiritual stone art. But for the sake of this, I'm going to take pickup range. So that the next time I get a manual, if the spiritual... You know, if the one that gives the spiritual energy but drops the pickup range happens, I don't take quite as drastic a hit. And why are you lit up? Do I have one of you? I don't know why. You're not the correct thing that I want. Um, it is not obligingly give me any TN weapons, so I'm just going to go ahead and take the the sunny ring. Now, now I am getting the full range of spiritual energy bonus, and I'm also going to get orange items if I run into the weapon scroll. So there it is. Now, this is very nice, <laughs> right? But, one, two, three, four, five. Um, the only thing right now that I can take that won't drop my TN Synergy is the Extreme Yin. Extreme Yin Saber. Oh, I did say it right the first time. Weird. And I will be holding onto the fire thing so I can get more Saber. Now, when I do manage to get it to level 50, I will probably unequip the sabers so that I can just show, you know, show visual proof of her own basic abilities. But currently, 12.1 attack isn't the most impressive thing in the world, but orange treasures early on, you know, it's actually pretty nice. I have actually going on, uh, gone after TN Synergy before, specifically to get Orange Treasures early on in a run, and I mean, with her passive, and if you get the, the manual that gives you plus one TN Synergy, you basically only need four items, which uh, does feel like it takes the cost of it all down further. But I still want that plus 70% attack bonus. And let's see what treasures the treasure chest gives us. Gaze a manual. I do like cool down, and I've got enough to do a bit of a reroll. Let's see if it will give me. Okay, it's starting to cost two to reroll, and I don't want that. So I'm just going to take the crit chance. Oops. <laughs> but I'm not taking that right now. I am hoping that I will be able to... Uh... Okay. Still a couple of things. Do the breakthrough. And I have nothing to reroll with. I also don't want to take the ROM technique. So the safest thing to take is Yin. I can also sell the saber to reroll once and see what else I can get. And nothing that I want. So I'll just, um, well, I'll take nothing, I guess. <laughs> you know, normally I try to level my items up before, um, you know, once I get, you know, realm four. Is this room four? No, room five. Oh, I finally have TN Synergy. 
that's an actual weapon. Now, I don't actually want to drop any of the dance energy items I have, but I am going to go ahead and pick up the fire talisman because eventually I'm going to have, you know, eventually I'm going to have my realms unlocked. I'm going to have enough of everything that I need. Ooh, a bow. You don't need a bow. Eventually I'm going to have, you know, enough spirit stones that I don't need the spirit stone bag. Especially since I don't intend to take the spirit stone art. And at that point I will drop the bag and I will um, focus more on weapons. Okay, I'm fighting you with an orange weapon. Could you die already, please? Why are you taking so long? So, clearly, orange weapons are nice. Sometimes they're a little slow. And I don't like wave breaker. Gonna sell it, pick up the cold moon sword. And honestly, that thing died so uh, slow, I'm just gonna reroll a bit. Alright, a bit of rerolling. I wasn't able to upgrade a cold moon sword like I had hoped. But I did uh, manage to upgrade the sunny band and the spirit stone pack. So that was nice. And I'm going to take crit chance and crit damage. I don't always take crit chance and crit damage, but it's never really a bad decision. Your treasure chest. Let's see what we get. Spirit stones and elixir. Talisman I don't want to use. A manual, that was nice. And I'll take the refresh manual discount. As I always take that where possible. I don't have nearly enough to level up. We'll just hold on to things for now. Floor at the treasure chest. I'm going to go ahead and do the breakthrough. Um, there we go. Heavenly Technique Spiritual Energy plus 25%. Now I have double checked the blank scroll, right? And it's 30%. So uh, 10, 3 set, 30, 6 set, 50 for a total of 80. 110 if you add the blank scroll. 12 if you have the 12 extra if you got that so 122 I think and then 25 so 147 147 percent increased spiritual energy and I think I'm around yeah over in the corner I can see I'm level 32 go ahead and get the saber now, with the four sets uh, saber bonus, I have 14.6% attack. And honestly, I think it might be a little more manageable to get saber than it is to uh, get her to level 50. But all of the orange treasures are pretty nice. Now, go ahead and sell the rain, uh, the red. I shouldn't have done that. Why did I do that? Because I'm a silly little person sometimes. Here we go. Uh, at least it's a higher level saber. And I can finally upgrade it. Oh, I must have walked right into the other magic treasure shop. Now... Those are only orange the first time you step onto them, right? If you re-roll, you won't get orange treasures. I mean, you might, right? But it's not guaranteed like the first one is. So if you have an orange treasure you especially want to go after, uh, getting the TN Synergy can be pretty nice. But, mm, you know, it's also a bit of work to get there. So you're basically building a synergy as uh, as a building block to get a higher rare D tier of treasure. I mean, then that's just an ordinary gameplay, not specifically for this character. But I'm almost 13 minutes in, and I have 33 percent, uh, not percentage, level 33. 
which really isn't all that bad. And the next boss will spawn soon. At this point, I am tempted to increase the realm difficulty because the monsters are just... And I went ahead and did it. Um, the monsters are moving a little slowly, which then makes it feel like I'm getting experience really slowly. But, you know, uh, I have been picking up the experience. There's not a lot of extra on the ground. They're just a little slow. Hello, little boss. Hopefully you die a little faster than your predecessor did. That was not helpful. I suppose I maybe should have taken the fire talisman and leveled up his rarity, but... I haven't decided whether or not I'm going to keep it. Because it's Tian, but otherwise... I'm not really using it. And I've already got seven Tian, so... I might as well sell that and... Pick up a weapon I like better. Oh, and I can do the round breakthrough. What do I want? You know, I'll take the pickup range just a little bit. Not that specific pickup range is for the blue uh, spirit stones and not the experience. But you know, it's pretty nice to have, I think. I never thought I'd be saying stop level, stop leveling up. He is dying. Well, did die a bit faster than his predecessor, so that's nice. Uh -huh. I'm reprising. So yeah, I uh, I only increased the difficulty one level, and there's already a great deal more experience. Although killing it also did still take long enough that the treasure chest spawned. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Give. Well, I have enough spirit stones now to get my final realm breakthrough. I will take sense energy. And I will equip the last saber I need to get the six star synergy. And now I have 17.5 attack. The next time I level up, one, two, three, four, I think I have enough slots that. Uh, when I level up next, I will, will be able to un... Well, I'm three levels away from hitting 50. <laughs> wow, that was a poor way of phrasing it, right? When I hit level 50, I will be able to unequip the treasures that I have to show what the base is. And then I can just re-equip my sabers to show what the combined attack is. Because I think maybe... I think maybe if you get the spirit stone art, she might be best paired with um with that and the green dragon synergy. But otherwise, I think I think her best synergy is probably just um sabers. More attack, you know? More attack is good. <laughs> Uh, I did not expect to just undo that and immediately get level 50. Okay. Let's try taking off the sabers. One more. And I ran out of room. As much as I don't want to sell the sunny ring, for the sake of this, I will. Okay. So, 18.8%, 18.8 attack. Now, where is she getting that extra attack from? It's a bit strange, right? Because the, um, the damage, you know, the damage talent is only 2% for levels, so a total of 10%. This is 70%, so that should just be 80%. Am I just mathing incorrectly? Shouldn't 80% be 18 and not 18.8? Uh, my brain. It's hurting my brain. In any case, I'm just going to go ahead and get all my sabers back. And 
of course, now that I'll have all of my sabers, <laughs> my attack's a nice 29.7. So as you see, these two do pair really well together. And I'm just going to try and increase my items a bit. I was able to do some rerolls, upgrade a couple items. I... I... Going to keep the blank scroll just in case. I don't think I want to drop the TN synergy. Because mm. I, I, you know, I'm 52. I've got night, I am 19 minutes in. I got a little bit more minutes that I can see uh, how high I can get my level with this, uh, with the TN synergy and going. But I don't think I need the spirit stone bag anymore. But I will be picking up weapons so that I can keep the tea and synergy. Now, I just have to hope I get one better than that bow because the bow is not my favorite. And oops, I will also, I think at this point, increase the difficulty a bit. Well, I was gonna increase the difficulty a bit, but I want the big monster instead. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. And then I've got enough talismans that I can still do that. And he died pretty quickly. Now... Well, now that I have a saber, now that I'm level 50, I don't think I'm going to get level 100. So, I'm going to go ahead and take the spiritual stone art. Oh, so try to find another talisman to get into the red. Here we go. Hello, 21 minute boss. Oh, and the treasure chest that I forgot spawns at 21 minutes. You think as many times as I've done runs for this game, I would remember stuff like this, but well. So the spiritual energy's kind of pretty, the spirit stones are pretty, and I kind of get distracted at look at them. Uh, looking at them, and then I forget everything else that's going on around me. See, this is um, another one that takes away your spiritual energy because of back hit points. Which I don't like. And, you know, I'm at Legendary Immortality now, but... The experience does seem to have slowed down, even despite increasing the levels and you know having so many more monsters on the coming at me but so realistically I don't think you know you're gonna get much more beyond 50 um <laughs> and pay attention to what's going on around you so the you know the monsters don't nibble on you when you're not paying attention and looking and I still have, you know, weapons to upgrade, so I'm not doing as much damage as I could, despite my high attack. You know, 37.4 right now. 37.5. <laughs> so Spiritual Stone Art does pair really well. But then it does also lead me to the uh, emotional conundrum of, I want to keep the Spirit Stones for the sake of that attack, but my weapons also need to be improved upon. And so then I get a little anxious about, you know, re-rolling for upgrades. Which I'm going to do regardless. I need more stuffs. Okay, it took me from dropping from like 260 spirit stones down to 169 before I actually got uh, enough things to upgrade my, just even my wave breaker to a, to a two star. And that's my attack down to 35, which doesn't seem like a lot, but... I would like to be able to uh, get... Um, Tien doesn't really have high tier rare weapons. It's got like two blues and one purple. And I think if that purple shows up, I will take it, but... You know, so overall, it doesn't have a, a lot of height, you know. It could use some higher rarity of weapons. 
because otherwise, you know, you're going to be using it to get your, uh, your levels up quickly if you're playing this particular character. Otherwise, you're just going to be using it to get your orange treasures as quickly as possible. You're not really going to use it because it offers you more. Which is a bit of a shame. I think all of the synergies should have a uh, end game reason to keep them. And currently it really doesn't. Like now that, you know, now that I'm level 60, I'm definitely not going to be getting level 100. Maybe if I was on Chaos Ocean, I would, but there's no longer a reason for me to keep the TN synergy. And except for finding orange treasures that I want here. And what you would do then is just, you would hold on to it till you maxed out an orange treasure and then you'd get rid of your TN. Swap them out at a level up or just run into the next magic treasure shop. And currently I keep forgetting not to run into things and I'm tempted to exchange it for more healing items. Yeah. For some reason I felt like I had missed a treasure chest. Weird. Final treasure chest. See what you give. Two elixirs. It's rich energy. Ah, I almost wish I could reroll these, but but you can't. And now the final boss. And he's going down nice and quick. Kinda looks like he's wearing a mask, and I've never really noticed that before. The branches on his body seem kind of autumn themed, which I do like, but could also be blood. And last manual. Don't really need anything out of this. At this point, I can just stand here and survive just about anything. Although, to be very fair, this is only on five destiny talismans. It's not on the seventh destiny talisman. Could be significantly more difficult. But I have 493 spirit stones. With that, I have. Um, be right back. Okay, there we go. That's better. 502 spirit stones. And an attack of 44.7. So, while. Uh, while Zhao Zhao Su is nice with her attack bonus, um, she's not really as game changing or ground, you know, she, she, she doesn't really feel like she brings as much to the table as like Ru Yan Yu did. You know, you can just focus on getting all the synergies with her. All you really need is to just get Saber. If you can sp pair it with Spiritual Stone Art, then you basically got all the attack bonus you need. You, you don't really need this girl, right? I mean, she's she's cute to look at. I like her musical instrument. But overall... Overall, for a character that's been released right when the game went um, out of early access, I feel like I feel like they should have brought her in sooner and then, like, did Rui on you for the commercial one, you know? And that's basically all of my thoughts on the character. She's not bad. You know, I certainly don't dislike her. She doesn't work detrimentally with any of the synergies. You can use just about anything with her. But in the end, I really do just think she should have been a character we had access to earlier. And that's everything. Thanks for spending some of your time with me. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.